so many network marketers fall in love with a health and wellness product. And then they realize that there's an incredible opportunity to build the lifestyle and income of their dreams. But what happens when you get started and you run out of friends and family to talk to and what you're doing on social media just isn't quite getting you where you wanna be? Well, the truth is it's probably not your fault. It just takes a little marketing know-how that you may not be getting from anywhere else. So on this podcast, I'm sharing with you the secrets that I've been able to learn from all of my top earner friends and mentors. I'm pulling back the curtain on exactly what it takes to get people excited about the wellness products that you have to offer, to help people improve their lives, and to get you to the rank that you want to be at. My name is Soraya Goddard, and this is Secrets to Marketing Your Wellness MLM. everyone. I am going live a little bit earlier than normal today, but I am so excited to share with you guys some information that you told me that you wanted. How cool is that? So if you don't know who I am, I am Soraya Goddard. Super excited whether you are watching this live, whether you're watching the replay, or whether you are listening to the podcast. I am now, if you didn't catch my last podcast and or video, I am experimenting And I'm sharing the journey with you guys. Um, I'm experimenting with doing Facebook Lives and turning those into podcasts because although I love my podcast, I'm obsessed with my podcast and I have so many loyal listeners. I have so many of you guys who have said that you miss my videos. So from a marketing perspective, killing two birds with one stone. Got some superstars hopping on with me right now, but I'm going to dive right into the content because I want this to be value packed. So know that I love all of you guys. Comment and I will go back and respond to all of your comments after this is done. But yesterday, if you didn't catch the podcast or the video, I covered the amazing super simple four-step video formula that has brought me a lot of money, enrollments, recruits, customers, business partners, coaching clients. Basically, I have grown my entire business off of this super simple formula. And I know some of you guys who are rock stars who are jumping on right now and watching this with me have done the same. This formula I learned from my coach. It is so amazing. Use it and use it consistently and it will grow your business. However, when I taught it yesterday, People reached out to me in DM, people reached out to me in Facebook Messenger, people reached out to me via email in response to the email that I sent out to my list today and said, okay, but what do I talk about? And I'm like, I got you. So today we're going to talk about exactly how you can read your prospect's mind and figure out exactly what they want to know so you can get on video and teach it to them. How cool does that sound, right? And I know that sounds too good to be true, but trust me, it's not. It is magic. This is absolute marketing magic. So are you guys ready for this? Because I am excited to share with you how to read your prospect's mind and know exactly what to talk about on whatever platform you are publishing content on. With this apply, I'm going to talk about video, but this applies to Instagram, Facebook. It applies anywhere. LinkedIn. I don't care where you are. This will work. Are you guys ready? Okay. So In order to connect with your prospect and get them to actually watch your video, you need to be delivering content that they're interested in, okay? That seems very obvious, right? You can't just get on and talk about, I don't know, whatever, how how to wallpaper a room and think that your ideal client is going to watch you. And I see a lot of that because somewhere people... With the right intentions, people are saying just get on Facebook and do lives. Okay, got it. That's kind of version 1.0. Version 2.0, though, is to do a live that speaks to your ideal client, right, or your ideal customer or whoever it is that you're trying to attract. And here's what you need to reverse engineer. You need to figure out what is, or excuse me, who is your ideal client, who is that person, and what are they struggling with? What are they struggling with? And once you understand what they're struggling with, then you can create content to serve them. Okay, using that four-step formula. But many of you guys are getting stuck on the what are they struggling with because you think you know what they're struggling with. And in reality, you're a little bit farther down the path in your journey. Maybe you've learned something about health. Maybe you've learned something about fitness. Maybe you've learned something about business. And you're a little bit farther down the road in your journey than the person that you're trying to attract, right? Because you want to share with them your business your product, your service, your opportunity, whatever it is that you're selling them. And so sometimes we think we know what people need help with. In reality, it's usually a lot more simple than we make it. 
But I'm gonna teach you right now how to do what I call market research. I didn't invent that term, so I don't know why I said that I call it that. Everybody calls it that, market research. Market research is the key to success in your marketing, okay? And here's what you need to do. And now I'm gonna give you a word of caution. There are some of you right now who are listening to this who are like, Psh, I know what I'm doing. I know what my person struggles with. I don't need market research. Cool, you're gonna have struggles. Like I'm telling you, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I was like, I totally know what people struggle with. And I started creating content and I realized that the content that I was creating was way too detailed and way too advanced for the person that I was trying to attract. And I ended up with an email list and a, a followership full of people that weren't quite a match for what I was looking for, okay? Then I went back and learned about market research and did it and boom, blew it up. In fact, this exact formula that I'm about to share with you earned me a $20,000 course launch. This is how I got it done because I did my market research and it was effortless. Are you guys ready for this? This is the $20,000 formula. Literally, I can show you proof. <laughs> okay, market research. So I'm gonna give you four ways. There are so many ways to do market research, but here are the four that I think are the easiest to teach and the easiest to implement. Number one, this is super mind-blowingly simple. Get someone who you want to recruit or want to have as a customer and just ask them what they're struggling with, right? Just ask them. Number one is ask somebody. Now here's the secret to this, right? You're not gonna go up and be like, hey, I wanna know what you're struggling with so I can sell you my shakes. No. You would say something like, hey, hey, Ruth, I really respect you. I think you're awesome. I would love to have you as a customer, but that's really not why I'm here. Do you mind if I just pick your brain for like five or 10 minutes to see if I can understand how I can recruit awesome people like you or how I can you know, sell my product to awesome people like you? I'll take you out to coffee or whatever it is, right? Whatever that is. So ask somebody. And if you start asking really good questions, they are going to tell you exactly what they are struggling with. I promise you. They, they, people like to be listened to. So all you have to do is just ask a really good open-ended question and take notes. Okay, so that's market research method number one. Market re research method number two, that's a tongue twister, is to stalk Facebook groups. Now this is my absolute favorite market research, okay? So you find a group, a Facebook group that is run by somebody else where people are complaining or asking questions. And guess what? That's every single group on Facebook. So if you are in the business of teaching about network marketing, you find a network marketing group where people are talking about their problems. Hint, rank makers, um, for all you network marketers out there. If you are looking to do product type stuff, right? Find a group about weight loss, find a group about uh, you know job leveling up, find a group about single moms, find a group about whatever it is that you are trying to help people with, weight loss, skincare, makeup, you know, um, natural health, hormone disorders, like whatever it is, go in there and literally take notes on the questions that people are asking and boom, there you go. So if someone's like, hey, I struggle with acne and I'm over 50 and I don't know, you know, how to get rid of it, then guess what? You're gonna figure out that your next video is gonna be how to struggle with acne when you're over 50 or whatever it is, right? You literally just take what people tell you and you create content that helps them with their problems. Mind blown, right? That's method number two, Facebook groups. Market research method number three is to read threads on Reddit or Instagram. People will comment on threads on either Instagram or Reddit and just go crazy. Now, Reddit gets a little sketch sometimes, so, I would use that one with caution, but if you find a good actual thread on Reddit, it can be pure gold. I've gotten stuff off Reddit before where I like pages and pages of notes of things that people are struggling with. Last market research method is see what YouTube videos are trending from influencers in your space. So if you are in the weight loss space, find all the weight loss influencers and figure out what videos on YouTube are trending in that space. Now don't copy their content, that's not what we're looking for, but see what people need help with. If the video on YouTube has five million views already, then obviously people are interested in that topic, so put your own version of that topic out. So just a quick recap, the key to success in reading your prospect's mind is to do market research and deliver content that will help them with the problems that they say that they have. Because here's the thing, we think that we know what their problems are. We don't.
We don't necessarily, or sometimes we know, or we think we know, but we need that validated. We need that confirmed. So four very easy ways to do market research to figure out exactly what your prospect is struggling with or your ideal client is struggling with. Number one, ask somebody, and this is the best one. Number two, go into Facebook groups and copy down exactly what people say that they're struggling with. Number three, go into threads on Reddit or Instagram, you know, Instagram comments, Reddit comments, and copy down problems. And number four, look and see what YouTube videos are trending in your space. Guys, this is so simple, but those of you who skip over this step are going to have a message mismatch. And so this is why it's so important. I have taught this in depth multiple times, and every single time, let me give you an example. Every single time someone who's gone through my Instagram for Network Marketers course, every single time that someone comes back and says, hey, I'm, it's not clicking for me, I say, hey, did you go through module one and did you follow the exact steps that I outlined to do your market research? And they go, no. And I'm like, okay, go back and do it. It is the key to success. Those students that I have who did it, I'll give you an example of one girl who did it. One girl who did market research on something that she was just super struggling with, within two weeks had 10 new customers and clients. Another guy selling weight loss products thought I was crazy, did the market research, figured out exactly what his people were struggling with, five new customers within a week. This stuff works, guys. You can read the mind of your prospect. And once you are talking to them, they're going to say, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm dealing with. That's exactly what I'm struggling with. And they're going to listen up. They're going to say, guess what? She understands me or he understands me. They are speaking to me. I better listen up. And then that's when you're going to have marketing magic. So you take this market research, add it in with what I taught yesterday on the four-step video formula. Boom. Business on fire, guys. Okay, so I really hope that helped. I am so excited to share this stuff with you. I am doing the 14-day challenge. So for the next 13 more days straight, I'm going to be delivering content to you that is going to help you take your business to where you want it to go because my passion is helping you guys in the network marketing space connect from your heart and soul, connect authentically with people so that you can give them what they are struggling with, right? I'm so excited that you guys are loving this content. I can see the comments. So... If you guys are listening to this and you still are just a little bit iffy on exactly what you need to be delivering, I've got a PDF for you that is going to get you a head start. It is on my website, soriagoddard.com forward slash podcast, and you can do two things there. You can subscribe to my podcast there, which I highly recommend, but you can also download that freebie that is super amazing. It is a list of 50 health and wellness topics. I've had people download this, this guide and just tweak the verbs, uh, excuse me, tweak the nouns. Like, so if it suggests that you talk about weight loss, switch it out for jewelry. You don't even have to be in the health and wellness space for this PDF to help you. But download it because it's going to give you not only the four-step formula that I shared yesterday, but a couple tips on how to implement that. And then it's going to give you an, a 50-topic listing of things that you can teach. Trust me, this is going to get you jump started on your content. You can apply this to any social media platform. So I hope that helped you guys. If you found this valuable and you're listening to this on the podcast, I would love it if you screenshot this and share it. If you're on uh, Facebook, tag someone below or share it there. Sharing content is like gold and the highest compliment that you can give us. But seriously, go to sariagoddard.com forward slash podcast and download that that document because it will save you so much time. I hope that that helped you guys. I got to run. I got to go to a, um, a farewell dinner for someone who works for me, which is always sad, but we're going to go have a great time. So I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much and go crush it in your marketing. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed Secrets to Marketing Your Wellness MLM. Before you go though, I have something for you. If you are looking to grow your audience online via social media so that you can have people getting excited about your products and reaching out to you to learn more, then you need my cheat sheet that has 50 health and wellness Facebook Live topics that will attract an audience to you. It also walks you through the secret four-part formula that you can follow on both Facebook and Instagram that is proven to have people reaching out to you. And when you get it, I am also sending you guys an audio file for those of you who love to listen to the information on the go. You can get both of those things at www.soriagoddard.com forward slash podcast. Again, that's soriagoddard.com forward slash podcast. S-O-R-A-Y-A-G-O-D-D-A-R-D dot com forward slash podcast. Thanks so much. Chat soon.